All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire Billy Boyle World War II mystery series all books written by James R. Ben. I've got all of the hardcovers up top and the paperback versions down bottom. And we're going to discuss first what the books are about, and then we will discuss the differences between the paperback versions and the hardcovers. I think you can already see there's a major difference here, just in the spines. But let's uh, talk about Billy Boyle, the series itself. I mean, um, first of all, the covers, every single cover of both the hardcovers and the paperbacks just look magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Every single one of them is done by the same artist. And let me see if I can find that artist's name. It is Daniel Cosgrove, done all of them. And all of them are good. I can pick one out in the middle of the uh, pile and they're all good. And the same artist did the, uh, let me see here. The same artist, of course, did the, uh, all, you know, the hardcovers and the paperbacks. They all look pretty much the same. So, except for the spines, which we'll get to. So, Billy Boyle itself. Billy Boyle is a army lieutenant, an ex-Boston police officer. He is sent to World War II to serve his country. His uh, uncle is Ike, Dwight Eisenhower. And Billy Boyle is a military police. He goes out and he solves murders and different crimes that happen to the U.S. military while, while in World War II, while in England, and each adventure is better than the next. I mean, I started with book one about a year ago. I'm now to book six. Book six was my favorite so far, and so the first six books have been dynamite, and I'm telling you, you learn so much. Like, I thought, I know about World War II. I've been to a lot of World War II historical sites, Omaha Beach, Dachau Prison, you know, the Anne Frank House, Hitler's Eagle's Nest. I mean, I can just, I can just keep naming them off. I, I love World War II history. But reading these books, every one of these mysteries that this guy solves, Billy Boyle, takes us to a different place in Europe that I've, some that I've been to uh, and others that I have not. And I learned so much history and a lot of little tidbits of World War II history and um, things that happened in World War II, the different types of machinery that they use and guns and medical things all of this he just packs each book full of so much information and i feel like i'm learning and learning and learning more stuff about world war ii with each book that i read they're just great now let's talk about the physical books themselves i gave you a rundown of the overall theme of the thing it's billy boyle military police during world war ii solving crimes okay I started buying them the paperbacks, you know, and um, while I told you I love these covers, I was not the biggest fan of the paperbacks. I didn't like the spines. I'm just going to be straight on it. I didn't like the spines. They look like, they look like computer manuals. And then the publisher, of course, you know, after, you know, 16 odd, some odd books, Book 17 and 18, they kind of changed things up, and they changed the size of the paperback and the spine design. And so now you've got this, you know, my OCD meter usually runs pretty high on, I mean, from a scale of 1 to 10, I'm idling at about a 7, just wa navigating the world. This kind of thing on my bookshelf just spikes my OCD meter up to around a 11 to 12. I mean, it's just one of those things where I was like, I love this series, but I don't know if I can have these books in my collection because of the spine. But anyway, we won't belabor that point. We won't belabor that point. There was a fix. There was an easy fix to this. Just go buy the hardcovers. And I'll tell you, the, the hardcovers look better. I mean, the spines look better. The spines are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can tell why I am so happy now. To get these books, this is a special Christmas present to myself, buying all of the hardcovers, first editions, 
brand new, each one of them. About half of them you can still get on Amazon.com for brand new. The other half I went to eBay and bought brand new from different collectors. But anyway, the set looks nice. And so we're going to go through each one of them one at a time so I can show you the, the covers and how the covers all look. They look great. They're all done by the same artist that did the paperbacks. And each cover, and I will just go through one at a time. This is book number one, just simply titled Billy Boyle. Just a sharp-looking book. Um, we will go book number two, The First Wave. Another great illustration. Number three is Blood Alone. And like I said, if you want to watch any of my individual reviews of the first six books, all you need to do is type in my last name, Durfee, and the title of the book, or maybe James R. Ben's name, into the YouTube search bar. That book review will magically appear upon your computer screen, or your television screen, or maybe even your phone. Whatever you're watching on. I don't care what you watch this TV program on. Just watch. Anyway, that's book number three. Book number four, Evil for Evil. And that is a cool cover. I love the silhouette of that guy um, against the foggy backdrop. And then, like I said, each one of them has the same, I mean, it's the same graphic design on the front of every single book and the same. This is just a really sharp looking collection of books. This is book number five, um, Rag and Bone. And then book number six, the latest one that I reviewed and read on the channel and my favorite so far, this is uh, Immortal Terror. And then we have, um, I don't know, these are all going to fall. We have Death's Door, another great cover. Um, a Blind Goddess. I'll try to get these covers so that the glare doesn't get all up the rest is silence the white ghost the blue madonna i like the plane in that one that's a great illustration we've got uh the devouring and that looks like a classic murder mystery cover right there We have uh, Solemn Graves. When Hell Struck Twelve. The Red Horse. I like that cover too. I like them all. They're all dope. Road of Bones. Another one with plaids. I love the one with the ones with the planes. The uh, From the Shadows. That one has a boat. And then last, but certainly not to be considered the least, we have Proud Sorrows, the final one. It even has a plane, too, but it's uh, up here crashing. Did he just go? Yeah, he did. He pointed at the crashing plane. Anyway, that is the James R. Ben, Billy Boyle, World War II mystery series. Just absolutely cool looking as hell. Love, 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 love. Now, what am I going to do with these? Well, they're not going to remain with me. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I'm probably, like most of the books that I get rid of out of my library, um, I take them to the prison and donate them to the prison. So uh, this is a set of books that will now go to the Utah State Prison, where they can be, uh, you know, the prisoners. I, and I've done several videos on this of where to donate your books to. Donate, donate your books to, um, well, you can take them to used bookstores if you want. Just don't donate them to public libraries. The public libraries don't want them. They'll just go in the garbage. Or prisons, county jails, anything like that. They will get read. And these are some books that are full of so much cool history that perfect, perfect for a donation to the prison. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do with these books. And my Christmas present to myself, whoosh, that is, that is like the best Christmas present I've ever gotten myself, without a doubt, bar none. There's none that come closer. It is the greatest of all time. There is nothing greater.
than this Christmas present to myself. Okay, I'm done.